me ask you guys something. Why is it that people get so hurt over what other people say over the internet? I don't understand this. I do not. It is the internet. Why do you let yourselves get hurt so bad? Let me go and tell you a story that happened just Thursday. So, um... I ran into this group called the Nerd Haven, who actually went ahead and asked, um, they basically posted something talking about how Microsoft screwed over the gamers. So I simply asked in response, well, how does Microsoft do that? Their response is, you're a Microsoft fanboy. Well, what? No. I simply want to ask a question. You know? <laughs> well, how does they do it? I don't know how they do it, and I've heard it all the time, and no one seems to be able to give me a legitimate answer. So their response was, you're a fanboy, you're a fanboy. So... Basically, long story short, for the guy who posted that, it literally took them like 25 minutes just to say, well, they don't screw me directly, but I don't know, you know, it's like, what the fuck, dude? Really, you're such a waste of existence. So then, it gets it gets worse. So it starts all over again, because one guy thought, oh, I can handle Zephyrnix. Okay, bring up your best shot. So, first of all, this guy comes start bringing up stuff from a, a back in the day with El Presidor. I have no idea why you guys think bringing up El Presidor hurts me. <laughs> like, I don't even get that. Like, why do you try so hard, or maybe not try so hard, I don't know. But why do you guys think that bringing up El Presidor affects me? You know? <laughs> I don't understand that at all. But it gets even worse. So this guy decides that, um, well, Zephyrnix, you're a Nintendo hater. I'm a Nintendo hater? Dude, I run NW Nation. I created the website for NW Nation. My intro is Pokemon theme, um, a remix version of Pokemon. How the hell am I a Nintendo hater? <laughs> so already, they're off on a stupid um, tangent already. You can already tell. But it gets worse than that. So apparently, I'm also a Microsoft fanboy because I work for EA, and EA has to deal with Microsoft. So therefore, I must be a Microsoft fanboy. That's their logic. Oh my god, I can't, I'm not, I couldn't even make this up. Like, if I am not mentally capable of making something like this up. I, I swear to you, you know? Listen, man, work is work. Life is life. They, they do not intertwine. The fact that you think they intertwine proves that you are a child or childlike mentally, okay? Only thing I'm worried about EEA is if they give me free, well, free stuff is one, but more so, I'm more interested is that if they pay me. Does EA pay me? Yes. Do I care about anything else? No. I do the work that they want me to do. I get paid for doing the work that they want me to do. That is all. <laughs> that is all. <laughs> anyway, it keeps getting worse from there. Now, keep in mind that this went on for about a good three or four hours, and then even other people started trying to join in, and they still was failing. This one guy was just convinced that I wasn't working for EA, which I don't understand. What do you care? What do you guys care so much? The fact that you guys care so much about where I work shows that you are a fail in itself, seriously, because I barely even care where I work, so why do you care, you know, but then it gets worse, because one of the guys was actually Alpha Omega Sin, I didn't even, like, like at first I didn't even know who it was, and after the first hour, I realized who it was, so, not only that, but then he surprised me, because he got kind of ass hurt too, but, and I wasn't even saying anything out my boy, because you guys know, if I really was trolling someone, I'm a troll, and I'll, you know, I'm going to hurt some feelings. I honestly was not even trolling. I'm still, I'm asked, I continue to ask the questions. How am I trolling? Where am I trolling? Proof I was trolling. You know? <laughs> but they was convincing themselves that I was trolling. And yet they stood there for three or four hours. So I'm going to ask the question again. How is it that you think that I'm trolling you and yet you still stay there and continue to be trolled? You know? Now, keep in mind, I was not trolling them, but from their mental aspect, how is it that you know that I'm trolling you, and yet you continue to stay to continue to get trolled? That makes it worse. And it's, it's like, it's, it's bad because it's, it, it wasn't the situation. Like, I wasn't trolling you, but you thought I was trolling you. So, you actually stayed there and allowed yourself to be trolled by your own mentality. Wow! That is ridiculous! <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, I'll Alpha will make a sin. He was guilty of it too. Like I've seen the guy's videos. He's a goof. I love his videos, dude. He has great videos. You know, him and Review Tech USA are the two people who I go and watch when something happens. You know, it's like Sopa, which um I really need to go make a video about soon. But then he was like this. This is what what made me like okay, maybe this guy's not all that I thought he was cracked up to be. Like this is what he did. He went ahead and said, 
well, you know what? You're officially now my project, which automatically means that he was getting butthurt over stuff I was saying, too, which I really wasn't saying anything, but he was getting butthurt over, too. So he spent literally 25 minutes, somewhere around there, looking me up over the, on the Internet, and all he found was my name and where I used to work. Literally, my first and last name, which is Lydell Washington, everyone knows that, and where I used to work. Now, it was funny, too, because my, my YouTube channel, well, my Facebook channel is um, Zephonix Washington, you know, but whatever. Anyway, so the funny thing is this. One, really? That's just, in 25 minutes, that's what you got? Because let me tell you guys something. In 25, no, in 15 minutes, no, was it? No, it was 10 minutes. Between 8 to 10 minutes, let me tell you something. Remember the days back in, with Dr. Trey? I found all that information within less than 8 minutes. <laughs> and I'm talking about, I found his name, his address, his mama's picture, his sister, all these people, his, his, his main address, his father's address, you know, and all he found, and, and it's funny, all he found was my name and where I used to work, and it's funny because he promoted it like he, like, he had a victory or something like that, I'm like, are you serious, dude, that's all you got? <laughs> you know, I don't know, anyway, so I was like, okay, I'm, congratulations, fail, but congratulations, I guess, you know. That might have been the best work that you can possibly do. But anyway, I'm getting beside the point. Um, it was just funny to me. But anyway, um, so long story short, by the time that Alpha Omega Sin, we finished talking, um, we was cool. You know, we was cool. I, and I still like the guy's videos, and there's no hate. Definitely no hate with that. You know, I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, he kind of he got, he got got his senses by the end of it and realized that uh, all this was not worth getting that all rattled up about. And you got to respect that. You know, you got to respect that. Even though he may not have had his senses from the beginning, he at least got a hold of his senses by the end of the game. So, okay. But, <laughs> so it was okay with him, but the group, the group actually went there and flagged my account. <laughs> now, it's funny because I'm sure they thought they got a win, but here's a problem with this, guys. Number one, that's not my real Facebook account. That's actually my YouTube promotion account. I use it to promote YouTube videos, and I don't even log into it most of the time. I'm actually using it either from my phone or from my um, or from like a browser. Like, and I don't even log into it. Actually, I actually just take it and kind of you, you kind of hold on to the link and you slide it over to like the right hand side and it automatically posts it to Facebook. And I was actually late for work that day, so all I did was turn on my computer and let my computer do all the logging in for me. And well, my laptop, and I left my laptop in the bedroom, and I had no time to actually go ahead and get it while I was at work. So technically speaking, you guys flagged me for like, and it had like no effect, honestly, because the apparently the band started at 9:30, and I didn't get my computer till about 10:30 p.m. and it started at 9:30 a.m. So no matter how you look at it, you guys fail. But I'm gonna have to ask the question one more time. How do you let, like, why do you guys get so upset over what someone says over the internet? You know, like, there's a couple of things I can ask. Like, for example, what, we, people, y'all, you're a fanboy. You're a fan, why does that even matter? Like, honestly, I don't understand why fanboyism even matters. Honestly, you know, honestly, I, I don't understand how people get this upset over the internet. Now, if you guys ever see your friendly neighborhood Zephonix getting upset, it's usually because something happened in my real life that's now affecting Zephonix, you know? <laughs> something happened in Lydell's life that happened Zephonix. I told you guys that before. I'll tell you again. That's how that works. But never will I get so hurt over the internet that I literally will spend, like, especially if, if I know that they're trolling, I am not going to spend four hours allowing myself to get trolled. Now, keep in mind, I didn't troll them. I had no intentions of trolling them. I simply asked a question. But the fact that they thought I was trolling them, and they continued to let themselves get trolled, we'll say it like that, is pathetic. Dude, That I can't even explain to you how retarded that is to do something like that. You know? It's like... It's like a girl dating a rapist, you know? It's like, yeah, I, I know you raped like three or four people, but I'll be happy to go to this dark alley with you. No problem. I'm sure that you need to go there just to go ahead and tie your shoes. I'm sure. You know, I'm just saying. You know, it's compared myself to a rapist, so wow. But, you know, nonetheless, that is how it is, you know? Like, what? Anyway, I just want to go over that, too. Guys, pull the tampon out. Stop getting so upset over what happens over the internet. Because I'm telling you right now, when it comes down to Zephyrnix, unless I'm going to make a video about it, 
I don't even remember. <laughs> like, honestly, I let this show, that yeah, goes off one shoulder. Like, it doesn't even, like, even go in one ear. It literally falls off my shoulders and just calls it a day. You know? Y'all need to do the same. And it's not even about feeding the trolls or anything like that. Just be a fucking man and not have to worry about getting all sensitive over what happens over the internet. Because let me put it to you this way. You know, I'm, I'm going to give you how I look at it. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. Number one, most of y'all ain't going to do shit in real life. And I promise you that, you know, <laughs> most of you ain't going to do shit in real life. And the sum that would is going to end up in a big surprise. OK, because let me tell you right now, you know, I'm no fucking pushover. OK, born and raised in Jersey. OK, so I ain't worried about that. I ain't, well, by that, I mean, look, in Jersey, you either fight or die early. Honestly, I'm gonna be honest with you. You either learn how to fight, or you die early. You know, you go ahead and ask um, ask Zaire that. I'm dead serious. Ask Zaire. Zaire will be the first one to tell you. You know, but you know, because he he grew up in that area, I believe. But anyway, I'm gonna stop here. Oh, oh I'm sorry, I didn't tell you. Um, it's like this, man. Most of the people out here only have strength when it comes to being behind. Um, a monitor. And there was one guy in that group who actually was talking about if he met up with me, he would be, he, it would be a felony. And I actually, like, first thing, I'm from Jersey, like I said, so I'm going to look you up. I'm going to size you up. That's the first thing I'm going to do. Oh, really? Well, okay, well, we need to go ahead and set things up then. So, I looked at this, this nigga a little fucking nigglet. <laughs> like, are you serious, dude? Like, <laughs> you couldn't beat my fuzzy slippers. How are you going to beat me? Anyway, I'm done. Like, I'm serious. I'm dead serious, man. This is like some baby nigga right there. If you guys see me on Facebook, um, I'll look up, look up, look at my account on Facebook, and I actually will post a picture of him on my Facebook account. You guys have got to see this guy. I'm dead serious. This guy's talking about he's going to be. It's going to be a felony if he actually comes across me. Really. Anyway, I'm done. I don't want to waste no more of your time. You know, you guys do. Subscribe. You know to do. You know, and like I said before, if you got butthurt over this video, you know, well, like I said, that, that group of people, extra sensitive. And I'm just saying, don't be so goddamn sensitive over what happens over the internet. If you got butthurt over this video, then yeah, you are sensitive. I mean, yeah, I don't know what to tell you. I really don't, because if you really got butthurt, then you are beyond help. I'm dead serious. Peace and love. I'm out. Hey, no,